Lesson 4.5, Problem Solving. Compare by matching sets to 10. We solve problems by using the strategy Make a Model. We model with counters and cube trains. Listen very carefully to this problem. Bob makes a row of seven toy cars on his bed. We can use counters for each toy car. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven counters and they stand for the seven toy cars on his bed. He moves four cars to the floor. Are there more cars on the floor or on the bed now? So we're using the seven counters to model the problem. We can move four counters and pretend like we're putting the cars on the floor. One, two, three, four, so now these are the toy cars that are on the floor, and these are the toy cars that are on the bed. Are there more cars on the floor or on the bed now? We can see there are one, two, three that would still be on the bed, and we have one, two, three, four that are on the floor. We can actually line them up like this. These are the ones on the floor. And we can match them. This one matches to this one, this one matches to this one, this one matches to this one, and this one has an extra one. So there are more on the floor because this one doesn't have a match. Four is more than three. It's greater than three. There are more toy cars on the floor than on the bed. Here we have a fish bowl with some yellow fish, and here we have a fish bowl with some blue fish. Which bowl has the greater number of fish? This one has one, two, three, four, five, we use five cubes in a cube train to show those fish. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six fish in this bowl. We use one, two, three, four, five, six cubes in this cube train to model those fish. We can write the numbers. We have five. And we have six. We need to circle the greater number that we wrote. We make sure that both cube trains are lined up at the same place at the black line. We can compare the cube trains by matching them. We can match these, and these, and these, and these, and these. We can see this one has an extra one. We circle the number that we wrote that is greater, the number that shows more, and because this cube train is sticking out farther and it's got an extra one, we know six is greater than five. Six is the greater number. We circle the greater number. Here we have another problem. Here we have Tala and here we have Meg. Tala found eight acorns. Meg found six acorns. Who found fewer acorns? Remember, fewer means less. We can color cubes in a cube train. Tala has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We color eight cubes for a cube train, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can write the number eight. Meg has one, two, three, four, five, six. We can color the cubes for a cube train, one, two, three, four, five, six. We color a cube for each acorn they found. We can write the number six. Then we can draw lines to match the cubes. 
to compare them. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, but this one has two left over. This one is shorter. This cube train is shorter than this one. There are fewer cubes here. See how this one's sticking out and this one's not? So that means six is fewer than eight. There aren't as many cubes in the cube train. When we make our cube train, it's very important that they start at the same place so we can line them up against a black line like this. The number that is fewer comes first in counting order. When we write the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, here's six and here's eight. Six comes first. Six is fewer than eight. Here we have some purple gems and some green gems. Which number of gems is greater? We can count the gems. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and color a cube train that has that number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can write the number seven. There are five, six, seven, eight, nine green gems. We color one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine green gems. We need to know which set of gems has the greater number. We can match the cube trains to each other. Notice that they're both starting on the black line, so they start at the same place. This one matches, this matches. We draw a line to match each cube to the other. And we can see that there is a greater number of cubes in this cube train because it's longer. It's a longer cube train. We need to circle the greater number. That would be 9. 9 is greater than 7. And the greater number comes after in counting order. When we write the numbers in counting order, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here's 7, and here's 9. 9 comes after, so 9 is greater. So make sure as you compare by matching sets that they have cube trains lining up at the black line. So they're starting at the same place. And remember, the number that comes first in counting order is fewer, and the number that comes after is greater. In our next lesson, 4.6, we're going to compare numbers by counting sets to 10. We're just going to use counting. I hope you'll join me, and I hope you're having a really nice day. Bye.